Welcome back to Note Card Art School. I am Mark. You can reach us at notecardartschool at gmail.com. And you can find us on Pinterest. We put up pictures of things that we like on Pinterest. Look up Note Card Art School. You'll probably find it. And we have a store on Etsy where we sell the finished um, cards that you see being made here. At the moment, they're super inexpensive. You know, whammo, you could have that in your house. All right, the topic of today, today's topic is called finding, finding your shapes. Finding your shapes. Uh, finding your shapes. So everyone, I think, this is like a theory. This is not a fact, scientific fact. I think everyone has shapes that they like. Everyone has shapes that they like. And if you start out with a 4 by 6 inch plain index card available at your local big box outlet store or office supply depot or establishment at about one penny a piece. And if you draw a box on there using any old writing utensil Nothing fancy is necessary. These pens only cost about 24 bucks, and you can fill it with your own ink. But that's a whole nother topic. Anyway, draw a box. And you gotta keep track of what number you're on because you wanna see your progress. We're here to make progress. 564, I think, 565 we're on. 005. 65 and you might as well commit you might as well go ahead and sign it and number it before you even draw it because you know what it's gonna be good enough you gotta have faith you gotta believe in yourself so everyone has shapes and uh, the most basic shape is the line and there are lines all around you and if you draw a few you could use a ruler if you feel like it um, but you know, that's straight enough, is what I would call that line. It's not a straight line, but it's straight enough. So a line is a shape and a circle. So when I first started, I'm not going to lie to you, when I first started doing these, they're doodles, you know, like in the margins of my notes in school, or instead of my notes in school. I would draw lines and I would draw circles and just with that alone with those two shapes which are pretty self-explanatory you can do a lot you can go a long way you could go a long way with a line and a circle and you gotta try out experiment with different things so somewhere along the line along the way I decided I liked the trapezoid now I grew up in the 70s and there was this show there was this movie back then called Close Encounters of the Third Kind and I'm going to make this short story short uh, there's a guy and he goes crazy something about aliens and he's in love with the mountain shape the mountain shape he loves the mountain shape triangle and then one day he's got these mashed potatoes and he makes a mountain shape and he chops the top off with his spoon and he looks at the shape that's created and it was like a, an accident or just a momentary moment of inspiration. And he loves the new shape. And then he ends up going to Devil's Tower and he meets the aliens and they have this organ and they play this music. It's cool. It's a great, it's a great show. Uh, so anyway, that's how I was with the um, trapezoid. Is one day I made one and I was like, that's the shape I've been looking for all these years. So then I also like the box. I like to close my shapes. And the reason I like to close my shapes up is for one, because I was raised in the 70s and we had this thing back then called color forms. And they were like shapes and you could, they were made of plastic with some carcinogens in there. And you could um, put those, move those things around and I was into that. 
so that got me into the closed shape and the other reason is because if you want to color it in with the indelible marker indelible marker if you want to color it in later on you're gonna to have to close the shape or you won't know where one color ends and the next one begins that'd be confusing so there we got trapezoid other shapes I do enjoy include the drop I like the drop and then if you care to you could add a circle to the drop and it kind of makes well either like a little eye or oh and then the other thing I like uh, truth be told is I like a uh, circuit board kind of shapes so those are like this Uh, circuit, circuit kind of board kind of shape. Um, and I don't know, you know, like, you got to look around. You look around at the world and you say, what do I like? What do I like to look at? What catches my interest? And then one day you'll be like, oh, circuit boards or something like that. So you'll notice things you like. And those will become your shapes. And then you'll play with your shapes. And you'll, you'll... Try different things. Recently I tried to shape what you might call the bowl. See a stack of them? It's like Wagamama in London, that noodle house. You should go there. Anyway, it's like the bowl shape. And there's a million more. Oh, we got the ball on a string shape. This is an old fashioned card because it's three by five or whatever. And uh, you shouldn't use these cards because they don't make a three by five frame. They make a three and a half by five frame, but not three by five. So you won't be able to frame up your work. All right, well, that's it for shapes. You'll find your shapes by trying out different shapes and seeing what shapes you like. And those will become your favorite shapes. And then you'll be like, look, I made that. So find your shapes, and then once you got them, you can make a million more things using the same few shapes. Thanks a lot for coming to class today, Note Card Art School. Quick reminder, we have an exam coming up never. Your projects are due never. Tuition is zero, and it's been great to have you. Take care. See you again next time.